For the cyber ops exam, we want to know more than just how to identify source ports and destination ports and source addresses and destination addresses and protocols. We actually want to be able to occasionally do things like look at a TCP stream or an HTTP stream and actually extract a file out from this raw packet capture data so that we can do further investigation of it. So in this little demo, we're going to look at how we can extract a PNG file from an unencrypted HTTP stream uh, using Wireshark. So jumping over to the demo box really quickly, here is Wireshark. And of course, the first thing we have to do is just start capturing. So I'm going to do that. The interface we're interested in here is Ethernet. So I'll just double click that. And now we're capturing. It's going to be capturing a lot of traffic. So I want to do this relatively quickly. But let me jump over to the other side. And we're just going to do a shift control R here in Firefox so that we reload this page or this image without using any cached copies. So I'll say shift control R, make sure that the window is selected, shift control R. And we'll just do it a few times just to make sure that we've got a few options here to look at. All right. So with that done, we've actually, there's actually a lot of information in this packet capture already. There's all kinds of stuff going on in the background with the network, especially on Windows systems. So the first thing we want to do is filter this down to something that's a little bit more manageable that we can then search through. So I'm just going to go up to the display filter here and filter for HTTP traffic, which should cut down the amount of output pretty significantly. And notice that we do still have a lot of HTTP traffic that we're not interested in, this JPEG images it looks like. Not really what we're after, we're more after that PNG image that we just downloaded. So with a little bit of scrolling, or maybe a lot of scrolling, will eventually happen across that PNG. Eventually. And once we do get there, and we will, then we'll be able to actually look at it, extract it, and it looks like I just scrolled by it. Here it is. So nginx.png, uh, yes, there might be a bit of scrolling. There's tons of packets crossing the wire at any given moment. But this is our the response to our request to the Nginx server. So we said, hey, can we have nginx.png? And they said, sure. So we this is our Git request, and we actually have a response associated with it. And we can see both of those by right-clicking on this and following the either the TCP stream or the HTTP stream. I'm going to do TCP stream here. It's really not all that different between the two. And here we can see, first off, this is the request that we sent. So we sent an HTTP GET request for nginx.png. And then in response, the server had that file and it could deliver it. So we got this 200 OK message back, which says, hey, oh yeah, that's fine. Here it is. And then this raw information here, all this ASCII kind of noise is just the ASCII representation of the PNG file. So it's sort of a raw text representation of the file itself. Not really the most useful thing in the world. And what we would prefer to do is actually extract the PNG in a form that can be opened in, say, an image viewer. And the way to do that, and there are a few ways to do that, but the, the easiest probable way to do that is by first closing out of the TCP stream and then going to File, Export Objects, HTTP in this case. And notice that we do have lots of HTTP objects that we could potentially export. So one thing you want to do, generally speaking, is use a text filter. So I'm going to filter for PNG. And here we see those three times that I requested and received nginx.png, and we could really extract any one of those. But let's just choose the first one, and we could either save it, and let's just do that, or we could save all of these too, if you've got a lot of files that you need to copy. We could save it to the desktop or wherever, or we could just open it directly in an image viewer here. So we could also click preview. And there we go. So we've, we've successfully, from this huge raw packet capture, this pcav file, we've managed to extract an individual image. And from a security point of view, you're probably not going to be extracting individual images, but it could be things like binaries, you know, suspicious files. You could get the raw contents of that if you're using, you know, a protocol analyzer, maybe a network tap, and use that for forensic purposes, for investigative pur purposes. And you can probably see the benefit of that if you're trying to follow up on some sort of potential incident and identify whether it is actually something to be concerned about or maybe how a particular attack works. So very, very useful. 
uh, bit of functionality that's baked into Wireshark and not all that difficult. Probably the most, the most difficult thing about extracting these files is just finding the TCP stream or uh, the individual file, sort of finding the needle in the haystack. That's almost always the issue with packet captures. And to help you out with that, I highly recommend always using display filters wherever you can, filtering for, in this case, HTTP or whatever protocol you're interested in. And if you're going to export an HTTP object, you also want to try to find a text string that matches that object and hopefully only that object to really whittle down the number of results so that you can be a little bit more time efficient in finding the particular file that you're trying to extract. So that concludes this demonstration. Thank you very much. See you in the next one.